This is a rare one. We in my truck together. Hey! Tools still in the back. Lucky fishing hat. Rods from the other day, but we're not going fishing. Today's an awesome day. Headed over to Kayak City right now. The XTR is here. I cannot wait to see this thing in person. I am so excited. Today's the XTR unveiling video! Well, it's not really an unveiling because I mean, it's, you know, everyone's already seen it, but I have not seen it with my fingers. And I, like a lot of people I know, see things like a blind person. I have to touch it, I have to feel it, I have to try and pick it up, I have to sit on it, I have to like just tinker and touch everything. You know, it's just something about me and that's how I can kind of judge whether it's something that I would like or something that I would dislike. It's really not about whether I like it or dislike it. This is more of a check it all out guys. This is finally here thing. Um, yeah, let's do this. What are you doing right now? Working, fool. Psst, that, the XTR just hit Kayak City. Just throw up right in your own shirt and then leave work. You have to check this out. <laughs> All right, for sure. Hell I'll yeah. Oh my gosh, fresh out the package. It hasn't even been built up yet. This XTR is huge. Oh my gosh, I'm so stoked. Oh, I'm gonna mess with this thing so much. You know what's cool is I saw this, just like a picture of it. I don't really remember seeing anybody talk about it on video, but this track right here, check this out. Boom, rod trough right here. Set up rod trough so you can do a couple rods in each trough apparently. I'm pretty excited. Man, this deck, dude, look at this. I love decks, bro. All right, deck. Dude. deck on there. Talk about decks, baby. Dude, you could put so much stuff in this alone. I bet there's gonna be somebody that's gonna make mods where you could put like different troughs or something in here. Yeah, the batteries go, can go down here because they'll go right into the power, but I'm saying uh, up top, they have these like recessed troughs where I have a feeling that there's gonna be some parts person at some point or another that's gonna come up with a way to do like maybe a couple tackle boxes like plano boxes or something that slide right in on top of the batteries who knows maybe like a wire storage kit that would be sick yo check this out so this came in the boat already this d-ring right here it's almost for like a winch or like you could tow it up on a trailer that's cool now it's not just me i'm not crazy because i was talking to scott over here and he said the same thing this xtr isn't fully built yet, but unrigged, the weight lighter than advertised, in my opinion. I'm sure it is 150 pounds or whatever they're advertising it at, but I'm telling you, those Titan 12Xs are heavier lifting than this XTR. Now, it might be the way that they either balance the weight out or the fact that they have two giant handles in the back even though the Titan has two handles in the back. I have no idea, but I assumed that this thing was gonna weigh a ton and it does not. When people are saying, only trailer this boat, I'm sure if you had all the motors and all the equipment and all your electronics attached ahead of time, like you didn't build it when you got to the water and you had it pre-built ahead of time, yeah, I can see a trailer. But I don't see a trailer on this. Now, Boondocks, sidekick, you guys got your work cut out for you and finding some sort of supportive arm that's going to handle this wide of a boat and this heavy duty of a boat. Yes, it's advertised as heavy. It's not light, but it ain't as heavy as I assumed it would be. Something about, more about this D-ring right here. You can see in there, just at the top of the screen right there, there's two backing plates that have been molded inside the boat, so it's fully supported. So that thing is ready to tow. We're gonna try something that I've been wanting to try since I've seen this. So this is the seat in the furthest back position of the boat. Like, I can't even get the whole boat in the frame of the way the video is right now. Um, but 
this is the seat in the furthest back position where I can actually reach back and grab this handle. This is insane. I'm gonna give you guys a camera view of what this looks like and it's still gonna do it no justice. It's like taking videos of a concert or a photo of the mountains. Sure, it's great in your phone, but it never looks the same. And Troy here will own one. Mr. Kayak City, for sure. <laughs> So this is the view all the way from the back. And I know it doesn't look like anything, um, but I'm telling you right now, I could not fish it from this position. I mean, I could, but I'd have to fish off the sides only. If I had a fish out in front of me, I have a feeling I'd lose it. Also, I'm gonna show you guys how easy it is to adjust the seat position in here. All you do is release tension on these knobs, all four. Slide it forward. I'm putting it at the, say, midway point, just so we can take a look and see how comfortable it is on the ride right here. Now that I have the seat more center of the boat, not so far back, but not all the way forward yet, it's not forward enough to where I could do the foot steering because, yes, this boat has foot steering availability. They have all the areas where you would need to run the spectra cord and everything. I feel very stable. Not that I didn't feel stable back there, but this is definitely a little bit more stable of uh, seat positioning. I'm centered almost right over the two. They have ports on each side for electrical. And then right here, it looks like almost the perfect place. Troy was even saying it earlier. This is where you would put out your forward facing sonar arms right here. Still don't think I can fish off the front of this boat from here. <laughs> Do you want in the boat? Okay. I want that much so bad. Okay, okay. Yeah, me too. No training, get a whole lot of tutoring. Yay! Wee! I'm going to get a tutor at one point in my life. Wee! They forced me to go to a math tutor and I just exploded it out, like just tore it up. And she's oh, like, you're being <laughs> dangerous. <laughs> up! Okay, one, two, three. Oh, stuff it. I want one, Eric. Troy, Troy wants one. Hell of bad. I want one bad. Wee wee. Wee wee. Okay, come here. Oh. I'll never be able to wee. Wee. So. How much is that boat? Twenty-eight. Yeah. Well, Wait, twenty. 20 it's twenty-eight hundred, but it's a motorized boat, so I don't know. It's a six-thousand dollar boat. Yeah, you could have paddled this boat if you wanted. Six. Wee. Now try to turn it in. I can turn it twenty eight thousand right. if you want a twenty eight thousand dollar boat. Are you spinning me now? <laughs> Wee. Oh, Wee. You know what's crazy is I've been wanting to put it. I did. I talked to him for a minute. It was good to see him again. He's the one I got my RVR from originally. Yeah. 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 That dude's a good dude. He's a solid Who? guy. Danny. Dan from Headwaters. <sighs> we got some child labor going on here at Kayak City. Oh, wait. No. Oh, Are you gonna work on that for me? Sorry. Huh? No, do you know why? Because of the motor coming out. Are you out. helping? Can't do it. Right, that's why I Thank you. <laughs> so, middle of the XTR video, look who shows up. <laughs> so we're going to get into this a little bit deeper, which is really fun. Now the seat's in the center position, and it can easily reach the foot pedals. Of course, they're adjusting. The only reason I wanted the foot pedal semi-center to the track in here and the seat to the center of the track in here is because if you ever did decide to do some sort of... <laughs> so much room for activity. <laughs> if you ever decide... <laughs> yeah. If you ever decided to do, say, a pedal steering motor of some sort, the seat from the middle position forward, depending on your height, is pretty much about where you're going to want to be. I'm 6'3 for reference. Yeah, Andy's a giant. The, what you were saying about the mounting, like, so the XTR has hard mounts everywhere for Yak Tech gear. I mean, they're all over this boat. You got one, eight of two, them. One, two, three, one, four, two, three five, four, and two on each side. So that's eight, eight mounting spots for any of those uh, heavy duty Yak Tech mounts where you can direct connect right to your boat, no track needed. Now it's got miles of track already on it, so you can adjust and clip in whatever you want but me and Andy were just talking about finder mounts like where would you put your finder screen he said he'd put a screen back here only reason being is because when I'm sitting in the seat mm -hmm. I can see it right here but then I can turn it if I need to 
with uh, that ball mount that I bought for mine. Yeah, but then... What are we going to do? Gonna but then play? you're... So you're up here fishing because you have this deck space. You're going to use it. You're up here fishing. What, you fishing like this the whole time, bro? No, you turn it straight towards you and you fucking stand off to the left. But you said the screen's back there. No, you just spin it. Because with that, with right, this, this chingadera. The thing I bought for the hobby. Right, I know, the ball mount. Yeah, I know. the ball mount. Yes, yeah, so you can get the ball mounts. We're talking about the yak attack mount. You put it there. Andy wants to fish this direction, uh, looking at his like, screen this yeah, way, really where I down. say, I mean, like, use these hard mounts right here, put like your screen, and put it on an arm so you can burn. forward, back, whatever, what right What are you going to do when you're sitting all the so way back on, there? On Bro, side, buy a bigger screen? screen? Yes. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not going to put a... A striker on your little striker, striker four inch. Four inch, dude, no way. I mean, I wouldn't get a boat like this, motor it out, deck it out, and then put a striker four on That's here. True. I would have like a minimum but I mean, of a ten but inch I mean, your, your nine, your Garmin nine, you think that'd be big enough? Dude, yeah, my Garmin nine, you can see from a mile away. You have the same one. I do one. have the same one. But it's like right here on top of you. <laughs> yeah, see, mine's a little bit further away from me, and I see it just fine. But you could put a nine-inch screen or higher. I mean, if you're younger, like 20, you could put like a seven-inch screen because you have good eyes. But me, I wear binoculars as it is. So a nine-inch screen up front, minimum. And I put my screen right here, and then I'll just be fishing all day, dude. You can even, because they have these two pieces of track right here, you could run a console bar right here. Okay, yeah. It's not going to be a trip hazard because you're not going to walk off the nose of your boat. You could have a console bar with your XI3 right in front of it. No problem. Get it. Now, here is my thing when it comes to the trolling motor. XI3, what I was talking about, when we're running a trolling motor, because most people are going to do the tiller motor, the, the handle. Newport's coming out with a great one. Um, I think it's already out, actually. But the point being is, here... This thing is mounted and kitted and ready for the XI3. So you have the XI3, you have your power port. You have, I don't know if you guys saw me standing on this earlier, but you can completely stand on this thing. It's absolutely durable as hell. All your batteries and everything can possibly go in here. Anything that you want, waterproofing, all the wiring, everything. Boom, right here. They even added a plate. Right here. But you can mount everything already so <laughs> that's already one step up on the xtr than the, you know, i haven't seen on a lot of other boats See? yeah i didn't notice that that you can't it only turns one way yeah so you can't it won't spin on you know that's yeah. pretty sick yeah there's so, little things it's the little things that matter sometimes absolutely you have your trolling motor up here or you go in the back you can use the switch but also rumor has it you can get a bluetooth pedal so okay you could either wire in through here, come out, because there's power ports right here, and you could run out and have a pedal on a cable that comes out to here, and then tuck it away when you're on the move with a bigger motor, or if you wanted to stay with just a trolling motor on this boat, which <laughs> you're gonna be, you're gonna need a heavy duty trolling motor. Hi, baby. Oh, cry the girl. Andy's girlfriend. You could easily either tuck it in here or, so you could sit back here and run your trolley motor right here as you sit. So you could actually have the pedal driven trolling motor versus the remote control. You could use the remote control. I think the pedal is a way better idea personally for me, especially on this, because this is no longer your sit in and paddle kayak. You could possibly paddle this. I would probably break my back trying to do it. But having that, Trolling motor pedal. You're up here fishing. Like I said, I am standing right on that hatch. Not a problem. I weigh 200 pounds. Not a problem. Uh, but having the trolling motor pedal right here would be a I'm so excited this boat is here. Um, we're gonna talk some storage real quick because Andy spun around on his seat earlier. I'm it's going in the video. <laughs> um, we got a 16 by 16 black pack right here, right? The seat is set in the semi-center position. It's a little forward of center, but semi-center position. Go ahead and, and set that in here. Now, the XTR has this battery trough with these mounted rails right here, which is pretty sick. You can strap down a battery back there if you need to. 16 by 16 black pack is sitting right here, um, right behind the seat, which is semi accessible. But as you can see, if I'm sitting in here, 
You ain't gonna be able to grab it. Uh, the hit, the hatches are right below the seat. I can't even turn my seat to get to it. Scoot this sucker so easy forward. So I still am sitting here, and I may not be center of track anymore, but I feel like I'm more center of boat. If that makes any sense, I can turn around and I can get anything I want out of my 16 by 16 black pack right here. Mind you, my feet are sitting on the rod holders that I was showing you earlier. So I, if I'm going to be doing something like this, I'm probably not going to be staging my rods down parallel. Well, but like I that also at that point. Oh, no, that 16 by 6 is. Yeah, too big. yeah, yeah. But what I was saying earlier, if I'm just going out bare minimum running and gunning, I'm not even taking the black pack with me. So the rods, I wouldn't be turning around to get to the black pack, so the rod storage still stands if I'm running and gunning. But now if I'm going to a derby or I'm fishing all day, chances of me putting the rods down here are slim to none, especially when I'm going to have back storage right here and turning. I don't have a whole lot of space to get to this. I would have to keep pushing forward only because of said battery trough back here. If I wanted to set this on the battery trough, it may not be secure, but I do have more space where I could move my seat back and forth, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. I can get into my black pack now. But there is no security. And unlike most bonafides, most bonafides have the bungee straps to clip to the black pack already in the back. This one doesn't. There's no strapping of any kind. The only strap stuff they have are those hard mounts for that battery. We're gonna go ahead and pull this thing back down here. So I don't mess it up. Yeah. This is a shop model, not mine. So I'm not trying to mess it up. And there we go. 16 by 16. You can strap it straight to the tracks. No big deal. They do have paddle holders back here. For what? <laughs> <I know that>. <laughs> <laughs> right. Take this over to the PWR to explain space and storage. Because we put the 16 by 16 back here in the back of the XDR, and it felt like it took up a lot of space. But we're going to go ahead and we're going to throw it right up here in the PWR and see Which what that looks good. like. The 16 by 16. Mm -hmm. The 16 by 16 fits really good inside the rear of the PWR with plenty of space back there, but. This is the thing, the PWR seat doesn't slide back and forth. It's not adjustable. So that tank well on the PWR, first off, is massive. Um, second off, you can have an adjustable quote unquote tank well in the XTR, but it just feels like you're taking up a lot of space by putting a 16 by 16 back there. For me, cause I want to enjoy the space of the XTR, I would probably put a 16 by 13. And he's got a 13 by 13, but you know, we'll take a look. That's a baby. <laughs> <laughs> but the 13 by 13, if you're not putting anything back here, still don't fit in the still battery. Still don't fit back. Okay, we found that out the hard way. <laughs> Andy, you definitely just made a solid point. Do you want to explain that a little bit further? So I know with my Hobie, I fish all over the thing. Yeah. I, I stand on the nose of it, I'll stand on the tail of it, I'll have the whole front end or back end out of the water. If I had a boat this size, I would want the capability to fish out of the back. With the black back being there, and of course, no matter what you're gonna do, you're gonna have storage back here unless you're, you're taking up the whole front hatch with storage, right? Yeah, true. Putting in your planos and all that stuff. Yeah. To, to open up the, the space of the kayak to be able to fish out of the back. That's just personal preference at that point, but putting something back here takes away a good 30, 40% of the boat. I can't disagree with you. That is a good point. I do, I do like where you're going with that. Because of the boat size, you want to fish basically every square inch of this because you can. Mm -hmm. you know, it's mm -hmm. one of those, because I can, because I'm Because I can, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Why am I gonna buy this to take away, you know, a quarter of the boat? Yep, I, I agree. So you, at that you, point, you put pool noodles on the side of this and throw it off to the side. And yeah. let, it, <laughs> let it float with you. <laughs> so I've seen videos of two seats on the boat. Yes, there are tracks right here that you can attach another seat. I don't know how that exactly works because all the other seats that we've tried that come from the big adventure, 
the they're a little bit wider than these tracks so i don't know if there's a bracket or a clip that we need to get or if i'm, I'm assuming that this top hole right here is for wiring I, you know i wouldn't think that they would put a bass boat seat in here find the hole mm -hmm. there it is i assume that that's for wiring it's just an assumption i'm not the end all be all genius of this i wouldn't assume that you could put a bass seat a bass boat seat in that i think the hole would have to be quite a bit bigger having said that they do have these tracks so i'm assuming there's going to be a bracket or another piece that you can get for the boat that has you know so you can do a buddy seat so if we were doing a buddy boat to counterbalance it i would definitely have that seat pushed back further than that position and i would have the other seat up here but we don't have that kind of space in this boat so me and andy kind of came up with something cool <laughs> Don't step on the edge. Voila! <laughs> One last thing I thought was really cool is because they have this whole upper deck. This is where all your water's coming out. You know, they got tons of scuppers, tons of scuppers, deep channels. There's even scuppers inside this. Pop it up just so you can see. They got the plugs in them right now, but I mean, this thing just sheds water. The front end, though, it doesn't really shed water. Yes, it does. You got finger hole finger hole ports i mean these things go right through them right through and right out i mean the water just comes spitting out of these things you don't have to worry about any water build up on the upper deck which is cool all in all the xtr i was super excited That's i got to see this piece of machinery dude is this is one bad boat dude as for the kayak not kayak battle i have no opinion i could care less i would paddle this thing if it broke my back i you know if i needed to i could paddle it but Either way, this is one bad boat. From Andy and myself over here at Kayak City, like it if you like it, don't if you don't, leave a comment either way. It's not going to hurt our feelings. <laughs> Let's go the other way. Makes better bearings. <laughs> <laughs>